fluent Spanish. Beautiful bit of Spanish there. Yeah, that you interpreted that perfectly. Let's, before we chat, I want to show, I was talking to the audience about this in the break there, and I know you remember as well, there was the show The Big Time. I remember watching it when it went out. Oh, yeah. And I wanted to remind you, in case you haven't said this is a quick clip from Sheena in action before she was the Sheena Eastern we know and love now. Have a look at this. Oops. Tonight in Glasgow, the would-be pop star is singing at a dinner dance for dentists. I think I should start that. I can see clearly. Well, as long as you don't want Viva Spanish, I know what you mean. Most singers worth their salt have served apprenticeships at functions, doing their best against all the odds. I can see clearly. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. This is quite a classy booking for Sheena, a cut about the usual beer and bingo halls. <laughs> That's a great clip. That was a really big gig for me. Now, you haven't changed a bit, Sheena, I must say that. Do you still do dentist dinner and dances? Or? When I get the chance. <laughs> Now, the big time, do you, do you think that really, I mean, it did. I think you were the only one really at the big time that did go on to sort mm. of the big time. Do, do you think it would have happened anyway? Well, you kind of like to believe that no matter what, you know, you'll come shining through, you know, follow your goals. So I think that I would have kept on going and trying really hard. Yeah. But there's no doubt that the big time was, was like such a, a launch. I know that I wouldn't have had my success so early if it hadn't been for that. It was a real gift. Do you, do you, do you keep in touch with Esther? Uh... Well, she interviewed me once again, um, and, and I think I got a Christmas card, and we exchanged Christmas cards <laughs> once. But I'll be phoning her tonight! Yeah. Having a good old chat. Do, do, do you ever feel embarrassed though, that it started that way? Because it was kind of a sort of TV oh, talent no. contest. Or no, not at all. I mean, it was, I, before I did that, I had auditioned for the 10-year-old part in Annie. And I was at college at the time, and I was 19 going on 20. Yeah. And I mean, I had to flatten these things wear my hair back in, in barrettes with no makeup and go in and go like, tomorrow, tomorrow. Needless to say, I didn't get the part, you but it just shows you that I've done anything. And it must have been fun trying, I should imagine. Absolutely. Now, let me, let me run some bus, because we've got really hardly any time on the show left this evening, but uh, you were working with Prince. You did the great mm -hmm. single Sugar Walls. Now, how yeah. did you get together with Prince? It was really simple. I kind of begged him to work with me. No, I, <laughs> I sent a message to him. You know, I figured my mother always taught me you don't get anything unless you try. So I thought, well, I'll send him a note. So I did through my engineer at the time, and it turned out that he actually liked my voice, and, and he wrote the song for me. And I got the song two days after I asked him for it. He's a quick so, worker, isn't he? So um, I've been told. Now, now uh, <laughs> you, there, were, there were rumors in the press you were the kind of courting. Uh, with Young Prince. I was and stepping I, out. You were stepping out, and I wondered, are you still, are you still collaboring? <laughs> are you still working together? Well, we wrote, the last thing we wrote together was 1989, but yeah, those, those stories were really silly. I mean, in fact, in the American press, how they had me and him splitting up, because they had to, like, get me dumping him so I could go on to Don Johnson or yeah. something. Which I never believed, because I never believed you would go out with a man who rolled up his suit sleeves. Uh, I thought that was... I would have gone out with Don Johnson if I had the chance. You would have done? I would have. Well, Absolutely, listen. I kiss her like that. Are you kidding me? Now, did you actually kiss him properly, a proper snog and everything? In oh, the show? it was passionate and fabulous and totally fake for the cameras. What a, what a, what a, but I was enjoying it anyway. What a marvellous story. Dirty old Don. Listen, Sheena, we were, <laughs> we were going to have an end song from you. Unfortunately, we haven't got time. Okay. We've run out of time, so we can't have another song. It's been lovely meeting you. And Sheena you. Easton, ladies and gentlemen. Well, thanks also to... Um,